Hey, hey, everybody, it's Andy from MAO Magic, and I'm here with VLC for the new Apple TV fourth generation. Now, this application has been a long time coming, and we've been testing out in beta for quite some time, but it's now finally released on the App Store for mass consumption. So, we're going to give you a little walkthrough about what you can expect on the free VLC for mobile Apple TV application. Now this will do exactly what you're expecting to do, and it'll play pretty much any type of file format on your Apple TV. But what's really nice has a bunch of extra features, like the discovery on the local network. This will allow you to play tons of different servers that are on your network, such as Windows Share, like SMB, DLNA, UPnP Media Server, FTP, and even Plex servers as well. If you sign into any of these drives, it will save your password, which will be synced to all of your other iOS devices running the VLC mobile app. Now if we go into here to my Western Digital MyCloud Network Drive, I can see all the different ways they're kind of sorting my videos. We're just going to jump into all videos and you can see all of our different movies here. And you can see they actually have all the artwork attached to them, which was really nice. You don't have to do anything extra. It's not the best looking interface. It's kind of blocky, but it does work very well. And it's nice that it pulls in that artwork for you. Now, an app like this is perfect for the Apple TV because of network drives like this. I have a six terabyte MyCloud drive, which only ran me just over $200, and that's a ton of storage, and it's ridiculously fast, and I can just dump any files on there regardless of format, and this is going to take care of it all perfectly for me. Now, if I jump in here and I want to play a video, say Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2, when it goes ahead and plays, you can see we have a bunch of different options by pulling down from the top, such as the audio options where we can disable it, use stereo or surround. We can turn on subtitles, and don't worry if you don't have subtitles, the VLC application can simply search for them and pull them in for you. So based on that file name, it looked for Harry Potter, and now we have subtitles enabled. We can choose the playback speed, making it slower or faster, which is great if you're just listening to audio. And there's just media information to see what this file is. If we jump forward in the movie a little bit, spoiler alert, you can see all of our subtitles are working perfectly. We literally had to do almost nothing to get them there. Now, one of the really cool features of VLC is this remote playback feature. So you don't have to use any of this network storage. You can use remote playback. So we're going to go ahead and activate this server here. And this basically is a way to allow us to cast media stored on any other computer to the television using a web browser. You can drop one or multiple fire files into the browser and just play those instantly right on your television. Those copies will remain in the Apple TV cache for an unspecified amount of time. It can delete them in the background, but basically you can store them right on your Apple TV. You have network streams, you can enter a URL and it'll play those videos. And then we just have some basic settings. If you want to go here and mess with some stuff, change the font, colors, any of that basic information. But that pretty much covers it for the free VLC app for Apple TV. And as far as our pros and cons go, pros, it plays any format, literally pretty much anything you have laying around, anything you maybe have gotten in through some other means, it can play those files. It'll work with UPnP network storage, SMB, Plex servers, FTP, uh, SMB, a host of options. You can have those subtitles and artwork automatically added to your media, and it's free. What's wrong with that? As far as cons go, it needs more integrations, and there are a lot expected for the future, such as Dropbox and Box integrations, but I would like to see more so I can tie this to much more of my network storage or my online storage. And the UX is a little... It's a little bare bones, but this is what we expect from VLC. It's a free application and it's open source and we will support them till the end, but it obviously does not look as nice as like the native client or even Plex or Simplex for that matter. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.